So I've been getting a lot of comments from people who say that they don't know how to code but want to. So here's the exact steps to take to get good at coding. First, you're gonna have to decide why you want to learn how to code. Yeah, this part is pretty easy because with coding, you can do a lot of cool stuff like, uh, yeah, there's really nothing, but you can get into fan companies, which is pretty nice. A lot of coders are really against reasons like that one, but honestly, I think any reason is fine as long as it helps you commit to whatever you want to learn. Then once you've decided that you want to learn how to code and why, you should start by learning Python on a free coding website. When people ask which language should I learn first, most sources go on about how it doesn't really matter and how any language that you choose will be fine without providing any clear direction for beginners. And this is kind of true, but I also think that there's a clear language that will make the intro to coding much smoother. You should definitely learn Python as your first language because it's the simplest to understand compared to other languages like C++ and Java. It's the most straightforward, so you can just focus on the programming when you're starting out. You can learn basic programming for free on a ton of websites, but I strongly recommend Code Academy's free course, which is what I use to learn how to code. It doesn't really matter which site, and there's a lot of them, and you can also just say fuck it and learn off code babes. Hey, this is Cammy Lee for CodeBabes.com. Want to learn to code, but you're having trouble paying attention? Welcome to your solution. You watch the lesson, absorb the info, pass the quiz, and your instructor moves one piece of clothing. The multiple types of headings help create a hierarchy of importance. You definitely should not pay for any online basic intro to programming course because the better ones are free. Alright, so once you finish that, you're going to want to learn data structures and algorithms from a course. This is pretty important and essential for all programmers. To learn this, there's free courses online such as on Coursera, and online courses work, but I think that if you're able to go to a college to take a data structures and algorithms course, that's a much better option to learn. The reason isn't the course material or the professors, but it's actually the classmates. This topic can get pretty tricky, so it's pretty helpful to have peers to ask questions and work with when you're learning, and if you end up going to Carnegie Mellon, we can chill. After that, it'd be good to get some practical experience by mimicking projects that you find interesting and have already been made. At this point, you'll be pretty good at coding, so it's time to make some cool stuff. But it's pretty hard to make a project from scratch if you're not familiar with the technology needed, like a new programming language, framework, or API. So at this stage, this is what I recommend. First, find a project that you find pretty interesting and has already been made. Then, try to make the same thing using the already made project and Google as a guide, and in my opinion, you can learn a lot by doing this. You can find projects to make by just searching up beginner slash intermediate level programming projects to make. And it doesn't really matter what kind of project that you choose to make because you'll learn from making anything. All right, so next you're gonna wanna practice coding interview questions on lead code and cracking the coding interview. This is a pretty important part after you've had some experience with coding because it's important in getting a job in the software engineering world. It's a pretty known fact that all tech companies will just ask you questions that are on lead code in the technical interview, so it really only makes sense to get good at answering these questions. On lead code, you can start off with easy questions and then move on to medium questions. And honestly, the interviews really only test medium and maybe once in a while a hard question, but you're pretty much good to go if you can solve medium questions pretty easily. I would make a schedule of doing a question every other day in your free time and then sticking with it. And before you know it, you'll be super good at solving these questions. And Cracking the Coding Interview is a book that I've never used myself, but I've heard that it's pretty helpful for this stuff. Next, you're going to want to try to find a job. Once you've gotten pretty good at coding interview questions, apply to as many job openings as you can. If you land an interview and can explain how to solve lead code questions pretty well, I would say that gets you around above 80% of the way there. You just have to do well in the behavioral part of the interview, but literally just try to be normal. At the end of the day, they're hiring you to make software, so the bar is set pretty low for the behavioral part in my opinion. And the last step is to make projects that you find interesting and have not already been made. And job or no job, at this point you're definitely pretty good at coding, so you can make almost anything you want. I think that making projects is the most appealing part of programming, and if you make cool stuff and solve problems, you can improve other people's lives too. And also, when people start any project, they never really know if it's gonna work or where to start, but if you just put time into it and Google a lot of things, slowly it kinda shapes up to what you want it to be. Yeah, that's pretty much it guys. It definitely won't be easy, but if you commit to following all these steps, 
you'll get pretty good at coding and be able to make almost anything you want by the end of it. And honestly, I think this is worthwhile for a personal skill, but if you really want to make coding your career, I think that getting a software related college degree will probably help you out. Alright, thanks for watching, have a great day, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.